Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So today I've got a lot going on. And of course it has to be gloomy and rainy. But uh I have some phone calls I need to make and then I there's the little girl go flying up the cat climber and distracts me. Um Chundin is coming today, yeah, uh, PCA Matt, uh, he's moved, uh, oddly enough, he's actually moved to Mankato now, yeah, I know it's sad, but, uh, Chundin will be coming back to work for me, is he now, uh, one of the main clients that he worked with has gone home for the summer, and so he's got free time and you know he actually has hours that he can work so he's gonna be working for me again these two months that I'm still here and he's gonna be coming and we're gonna take all the rest of my crap uh, that I have packed up all the boxes and stuff and we're gonna take them out to my car uh, yeah, so that I don't have to do it tomorrow morning. Uh, other than that, I gotta do laundry. God, what? What is in your butt this morning? Meow. What has gotten into you? Psycho kitten. Apparently, I left her plugged in a little bit too long last night. But, you know, gotta do laundry, gotta pack my bags for Kato. Other than that, uh, I got nothing. Alright, so look who's back. Hello. Yeah, and since uh, Matt moved away, PCA Matt. Now, Chandon is working for me while I'm still here until I get moved to Mankato. And he is now going to lift a heavy box full of books. And Melanie told me that I had to get it on film. Yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> You're supposed to lift with your knees, not your back. That was improper form. Well, uh, yeah, but, you uh... know. <laughs> I'll take these ones. <laughs> Not sure how heavy this one is. Here, I'll push it over to you. No handles on that box. Yeah. Oh, that's cheating, just putting it on underneath. Yeah, see? Make it easy. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, do you think that big tub, do you think that will fit on top? I can try. Yeah, that's not as heavy. So. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest thing is the, one of the, li well, one of the lighter, so. Alright, now we got to haul it out to the car. I'm very sad right now. When Jenna and I were taking my stuff down in my car, when I was backing out of the elevator, I dropped the box with my Legos in it, and it opened, and I lost one Lego down the elevator shaft. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, it fell and opened, and I saw it going. And there, you know, it's whenever things like that happen, you know, it's always in slow motion. You're just like, no, and I couldn't catch it. And it hit the ground, and the doors popped open on it. 
and one piece fell down the crack in the elevator shaft. Shit happens. I, that could have gone so much worse, but yeah. And Chandan's gone now, and I have forgotten how much of a sarcastic ass he is. Oh my god. Seriously? I did. He is crazy. So that it'll be good to work with him again. He's he's a lot funnier than Matt is. You know, Matt's great and he gets stuff done and you know he cracks occasional joke here and there. But Chundin takes it to a whole other level. You know, I, I really can't say anything about it other than it's just Chundin being Chundin. You know, and for example, today, originally he was supposed to be here at 1. But then he sent me a text this morning saying, oh, can I come earlier? You know, and I was like, yeah, sure, fine, I'm up now come whenever you want and he said okay I'll be there a little after 10 10 o'clock comes and goes and then nothing you know no no word from him and then uh, at like 10 20 10 30 he sends me a text oh I'll be there at, sorry I'll be there at noon and so then he came at noon and that's just chundin and you know if if he knows that you don't have like a strict set schedule he will come in whenever so unless if I said you know I need you at this time because you're gonna go with me to a doctor's appointment then you know or something like that you know then he'll be there if it's something important he'll be there on time but if it's not, if it's just going to be a normal slackadaisical kind of day, you never know when he's going to come in. Alright, so I just got done watching this movie called Kevin Smith, Burn in Hell. And for those that don't know who Kevin Smith is, he's a writer and director, and he, um, if you've ever seen the movie... Mall Rats or Dog Mog, Jan Silent Bob Strike Back or Clerks. He is the guy that plays Silent Bob. And he's a phenomenal writer and he's really funny. And this movie is just uh he doesn't really do stand up. What he does is he does uh, Q&A sessions where he'll uh, have a bunch of people come up. Well, he usually turns out to be like three. Because he just rambles on and on and on forever to answer one question. But he'll have people come up and ask a question. And he goes on and just talks about all kinds of stuff. And he talked about something that really hit home with me and he was talking about uh, when his dad died and he shared the fact that his dad died screaming and he said what that really registered with me is you can't ever hold anything back you know if you have a dream do it because in the end you're gonna die screaming so you might as well just do what you want and go out in a blaze of glory. You know, if you want to write a blog, do it. If you want to do a vlog, do it. You want to write a movie, screenplay, do it. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from doing what you want to do. You know, as long as you're not, you know, encroaching on anyone else's you know, free will or right to live or anything like that. But, 
that really just hit home to me because I've always been you know screw what everybody else says I'm gonna do what I want and it was just I was just amazing I, I advise everyone to go off and watch uh, Kevin Smith burn in hell oh wait yeah burn in hell had to look to see exactly what it was because I couldn't remember if it was burning hell or go to hell. But whatever. It's great. You'll laugh. Great, you know, deep insight, in my opinion, from a guy who's kind of a nut. But I'm a nut myself. But go watch it. Yeah. So, just got some sad news. I just watched uh, the newest uh, Caters 1-7 video and uh, and for those that don't remember she's one of the people who inspired me to start doing this and um, you know she's currently was touring with a band called Projected Twin and they were going to be up in the cities on June 1st but I just found out from watching her newest vlog that the rest of the tour is cancelled which means they will not be coming to Minnesota which makes me very sad because I was very much looking forward to getting to meet her and Corey, the mean kitty guy. Mm, you know, they were two of the biggest reasons, influences on me for starting this vlog. You know, beyond my own random reasons for starting it. But, uh, I really thought this was going to be like the one and only chance that I would ever get to meet him. But so much for that. I'm sure I'll have another chance someday. But uh, this is where I'm going to say goodnight. And I'll see you tomorrow. Camp Adventures. Making our way one push at a time.